Rams play host to the league-leading Dayton Flyers tonight here at the Siegel Center. Coach, what can we expect to see from Coach Miller's team tonight? Uh, a tremendous ball club. Uh, elite, elite defensive team. They're going to guard the paint. They're going to swarm the paint when we drive it in there. Um, and so we're going to need to be tough with the ball, be strong with the ball. We can't turn the ball over. They're as good as anybody in the country at converting uh, live ball uh, live ball turnovers to baskets. So we've got to do a great job of valuing the ball, protecting the ball, and um, you know, be strong with the ball when we're in the paint. So really defensively, they're, they're just tremendous. We need to not turn the ball over and just give ourselves enough cracks to, to get shots up against their, against their defense. And then uh, defensively, we've got to do a great job on their guards. They've got really good guard play with Scoochie Smith and Davis and with Cook. And uh, Pollard's obviously a very, very good uh, six six kind of hybrid hybrid guy. So they've got really good players, really good scheme, really good coach. They're tough. Uh, they seem to have very good chemistry. So be a tough game and a uh, tough out. Coach, you, meant, you mentioned defensively. They're actually holding teams to 11 points less than the team's scoring average. Can you walk me through what VCU might do to get a few easy baskets tonight to try to eliminate that? Thanks for reminding me. Uh, we've spent some time this week. Really, we've had a little bit of time. So we, we've spent some time really kind of fine-tuning our baseline out of bounds package we've been just awful all year at that we try to get six to eight points a game on that we've been awful so i just scrapped most of what we've done and i put in four or five new sets we put on some side out of bounds play our philosophy has typically been just to get the ball inside out of bounds but we need to get some better looks for jaquan and some of the guys that they're bottling up in the half court we need to be able to get them some better looks on side out of bounds so hopefully you know, hopefully we can steal. If we could steal six to eight points between baseline out of bounds and sideline out of bounds offense, that would be uh, very, very helpful to us. We've put a lot of time into that. So that may be a place where we've kind of looked to that we could steal a few points. 14-0 and 0 when they shoot 40% or better. How are the Rams going to try to slow down the, the Flyers tonight? Well, we need to do a great job on their guards. We've got to cut down on penetration. You know, we've got to do a great job of guarding without fouling. They, they do a great job of going to the foul line. We can't walk them to the foul line. We walked them to the foul line last year at the game at their place way too much. Just silly fouls. So we got to avoid that. They do a great job of keeping them out of the paint. Once they get that ball in the paint, they're really good at just kind of ping-ponging that ball around. They share that thing. They're moving that ball around. They turn, turn down good shots and get great shots. So if we keep it out of the paint and keep ourselves out of rotation, that would be, that'd be really critical. VCU makes its fourth appearance on the ESPN network tonight. What does it mean to these guys grow up watching ESPN each and every day? What does it mean to the guys and to the program to be making that fourth appearance nationally tonight? Yeah, it's great. It's great exposure for our kids. It's great exposure for our university and for our basketball program. So I think we're the only game in town tonight at 9 o'clock. And we're excited about it and excited to showcase our team, our players, and our great university. Great. Good luck tonight, Coach. Thanks.